Hi, today I'm going to show you the Rico Auto 35, a fully automatic camera from the early 1960s. First I'm going to show you the different parts of the camera, then how to use it, and lastly what I think about the camera and my experience using it. So first on the front we have the viewfinder and the lens barrel, which consists of the shutter button, the film selector wheel, which I will talk about more in depth later, uh, the flash focusing scale, uh, the light meter, and the lens, which is a Reek and Rico f4 centimeters, which means that it is a 40 millimeter fixed focus lens. And here's the serial number. On the sides, we have the detachable strap lugs. On this side, we also have the uh, cable release socket. On the bottom we have the folding advanced lever, the rewind button, the uh, tripod socket, the rewind crank, the frame counter and the back door release lever. On the back we have the viewfinder and the film guide and on the top we have the nameplate and the hot shoe. So, how to use this camera? Well, first you have to know what kind of uh, film corresponds to what type of ASA, or what number of ASA, what ASA number. So basically it says two for daylight color chrome, three for daylight ANSCO chrome, ectochrome or color color, four for all weather pan or ANSCO supreme, five for daylight super ANSCO chrome or plus X pan, and six for high speed ectochrome or tri-X. That uh, basically uh, corresponds to uh, 2 for ASA 10, 3 for ASA 25, 4 for ASA 50, 5 for ASA 100, and 6 for ASA 200. So you basically just put in your kind of film or ASA number here. So, and M is for flash photography and B is just for ball. Basically is just that the shutter would stay open as long as you hold down the shutter release button. So, uh, how to load the film. Uh, first, pull down on this lever here, so the back opens. Then pull down the rewind crank, pushing your film cap cartridge here. But first, to reset the frame counter, hold in the rewind button and turn the sprockets clockwise. Then uh, put in your film canister and push in the rewind knob and turn it so that the film catches. Then drag the film across to here, put it into the sprocket hole here, or slit here. And you kind of have to nudge it in like that, into there. And then turn the advanced lever once um, to make sure the film catches on the wheel. Then you can close the back. After that, um, fold the rewind, no, the advanced lever, and start winding it and pushing the shutter button up here till you get to frame number one. Then you're ready to make your first exposure. And all you really have to do is, of course, you set your film type or ASA number. Uh, I used, uh, it corresponds to uh, ASA 200, so film, when I used this camera, so I set it to 6. Then you just look into the viewfinder and make sure that the little needle in there is out of the red area. So if it is, it uh, will correctly expose your picture, hopefully. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this camera. Just keep winding and taking your poses to the end of the roll. And then just push in on the rewind button and the wind to wind the film back into its cartridge. So what do I think of this camera? Huh? 
I think it's a, a really cool camera. Uh, well, uh, I have used this with some film, but I haven't gotten it developed yet. So I don't know how the pictures will turn out. I might do a follow-up video when I have developed the photos. But yeah, the uh, winding lever on this camera is one of the best ones I've ever seen. You can really take some fast photos if you would want to look at this. Oh. Yeah, that's really good. And yeah, I just really like the design. So that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.